What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as I promised you in the last uh, tutorial, we will be doing a conversion of uh, an image into KML uh, so that we can overlay it on a, in Google Earth. So we are going to use the data that we, the image that we had referenced in the last uh, tutorial so i'm just going to open my, my program and uh so i'm going to take some time i'm going to click that uh it's going to add the data is located so if uh, if you right click on our image and click properties if you look at uh, the general properties the source can see our data is uh, uh, the coding system of this image is back 1960 UTM zone 36 so just going to uh, project this image to WGS 1984 uh, so that you can be able to convert it to KML in order to overlay it uh, to Google Earth because uh, Google Earth image are uh, always in uh, WGS 1984 so in order to do that we're going to click actual box And uh, find the data management tool right here. Then find the projections and transformations. Expand. So because our data is uh, raster, we are going to use the project raster. But uh, if you are working on a vector vector data, you just you do not need to use this raster project just double click on project and uh, you're good to go so it's going to double click on project raster and uh, we're going to add our image so as you can see uh, the program was able to detect that our data uh, image is in uh, back 1960 UTM zone 36 but in any case you find that this uh, space is empty what you do is you first of all define uh, you define the projection the coding system just under projection and transformation double click on define projections you add your data so uh, right here you choose on the correct coordinate system that you need but uh, since our uh, image has a defined projection we will just go back and do a projection so so going to add the image my output I'm going to I need to add it it's new folder it has not been added so click on it I'm going to give it a name
Let's give it any name. WGS. Oh, give give it a name, but I uh, make sure that the characters does not exit. Uh, they not uh, exit exceed uh, nine uh, characters. You save, and I will choose your the output code in the system. So you're going to project it to WGS 1984. And uh, WGS1984 is a geographic corner system. I'm just going to open a, a geographic corner system. Uh, find the world. And uh, you should be able to find WGS1984. Right here. You can go through the properties. I'm going to click OK. Uh, click OK. So I believe the process, the project process has begun. And uh, under your processing, if you want to see if the process is ongoing, click your processing options. Not click your processing, then uh, results. You can see the uh, process is still going on, so we're just going to give it some few minutes. And the process is uh, completed and uh, successfully projected the image to WGS984. So Close down up not to save it and open it again Just going to add a projected image. This is the image that uh, we projected to WGS 1984. It's right here. Add it. And now you can see uh, the units have now changed to decimal degrees. So I'm going to you can actually overlay uh, the base map. The last time uh, we did the uh, processing, the referencing, I promised you that I uh, will be overlaying this one with the image with the base map. And I'm going to add imagery with labels like so. Since they they are in the same coordinate system. I believe uh, this uh, our image will be overlaid on the the imagery. Just going to give it some time. Load the satellite image. And we're going to see the exact location of this uh, this particular image so uh, as you can see guys uh, image has been overlaid on this satellite image so in order to see it uh, correctly you can uh, use the transparency just click on right click on the image then properties then I find this display tab right here at the top then under transparency let's uh, give it 60 percent click apply uh, let's give it 80 uh, percent 
apply what if we give it a hundred percent a hundred percent and our image is gone you can see uh i believe this is a mountain and uh it's forested so let's uh give it it eh? And so you can see how that uh, so uh, you can confirm that uh, the processing was uh, the referencing was uh, accurate if we increase the transparency again right click then properties give it give it 50 I can see uh -huh. can give it uh, 20 apply Okay, from this image, uh, you can see this. Uh, this uh, for uh, some form of forest, but it's uh, uh, mountain. It's forested. So we are good to go and going to convert this image to WGS 1984. Oh, sorry, we're going to convert it to WG to KML. So, under Act Toolbox, you need to click Act Toolbox, then find the conversion tool. We're going to convert it to KML2. We have ROM and we have two. If you have a particular data and you want to convert it to or if you have a KML file and you want to convert it to a particular data set, you can just load it, double click on this one, then load your data to convert to the data format that you want. But for us, we have this raster, we have projected it, uh, we have defined the projection, and we, have, we want to convert it to KML, the format that uh, uh, can be opened by Google Earth. So, just going to double click on layer to KML. Going to add image like so. And uh, the output folder going to let me put it just on the desktop. And I'm going to give it uh, image. Okay, this image. Come okay, Click save. Okay. Uh, the process is going to take a minute or two, uh, depending on the speed of your um, computer. And uh, it is successful because uh, you can see this green tick. So, I minimize that. So we have our KML file. And I, I can, can open it directly by double clicking on it. Or I can open Google Google Earth. And if you don't have uh, Google Earth and I want to install it, I have a separate tutorial on how to download and install 
Google Earth you can check it out so I'm just going to click file then import we need to import our file is on the desktop the going to use all format not all but all like so click on the file and click open you can see it's opening and there we have our image so let's reduce the and you can see we have this uh it's actually in 3d so let's let's do this let's uh reduce the transparency just going to expand this image then right click and click properties so you can see this you can actually slide the transparency see in real time can and you see we have this nice uh, forested mountain right here rukanga and from our map we have something like rukanga somewhere yes rukanga rukanga mia seni something like that and you can see uh, it's in 3d format uh, so we have successfully and uh, actually the thing that we are seeing as a uh, forest is actually a Kasigao conservative trust so it's a conservancy and uh, we have Kasigao so it means uh, the georeferencing process that we did last time was actually correct and successful so guys uh, that's how you you convert the an image to kml in acmap so thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned uh, for more videos like this one just please subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so that uh, immediately uh, i upload uh, my new videos you'll be the first one to be notified so that's the end of this video guys